We're back. You're watching the Hudson County Show. Last segment, we're going to do the Hudson County Power List of powerful politicians. The mayor of Hoboken gets a break for this week. Rave, <laughs> over there, will be taking his second job as a full-time mayor. For that matter, we were going to bring on uh, DeFusco, Mike DeFusco, who's the councilman there in Hoboken, talking about the runoff veto. Uh, but then we got all, you know, all involved in the school shooting. So I'll reach out for Mike again. We'll see if we can get him on either for Tuesday's Jersey City show or do the interview and play it on Thursday's Hudson County show next week because there's a runoff issue in Jersey City. Hudson County powerless. Who are the most powerful politicians in Hudson County? Well, I'll give you my 10. Uh, my first one, the king of North Bergen, Nicholas Sacco. The guy knows how to work both sides of the aisle. He knows how to get things done. Actually, if you want to get the arc the arc tunnel, the gateway tunnel, you're going to need sackos. You need more than just Nick, but you're going to have to deal with people who can figure out how to get it done. You know, number one, number two, put number two guy up there too. Nick Brian, the deity from Union City. These two guys know how to get things done with limited resources. It amazes me when you look at North Bergen and Union City, and I'm coming from Jersey, say we have a six, almost a $600 million budget. How the streets, how, why don't they have potholes in North Bergen? It's the same friggin' streets, basically, as I have in Jersey. There's no potholes. There's no potholes in Union City. When you go to North Bergen and Union City, the curbs are painted, the crosswalks are painted, the garbage cans are empty. This guy, Stax, got people emptying the garbage cans on Easter Sunday. That's why these two, Nicholas Sacco and Brian Stack, will be the mayors of their towns for as long as they want. But, you know, they're both state senators, and it's perfect that they are, and we send these guys to Trenton because they understand what it's like to put together a budget and have to make tough decisions. A lot of people in Trenton have never put a budget together. They have never run a municipality. They have never had to say, you know, i, I got to pay my cops. How am I going to get you know, my police force? Uh, i got to get the streets paid. These guys know what it's like to manage a city. So when they're down there working on the state budget, believe me, Sacco and Stack, they have personal insights into this from running their own cities. Glenn D. Cunningham, the former mayor of Jersey City, rest his soul, he became a state senator. One of the things he became a state senator for was to help Jersey City even more. But he was able to go to Trenton with the knowledge that he gathered from managing the city of Jersey City and its budget to make Trenton more efficient. And he got a little more money for uh, Jersey City. Joe Doria, the long-term, long-time assemblyman, 22, 24 years as assembly, and then a short time as state senator, Joe had a freaking key to the, the vault in Trenton. He would get grant monies. Now, I don't think that they own paid for anything. He would always find grant monies. Those two guys are 1A, one and one A, Nicholas Sacco, Brian Stack. Number three, with a bullet, is Big Bob Menendez. Robert is back. He is free. He is free at last. The feds dropped all the charges. If you watched our shows, if Robert Menendez was guilty of anything, or was maybe bad bookkeeping, or just having a good friend. But again, as I said before, if Bob's guilty of anything, it's bad bookkeeping. He didn't list an air flight, a, a ride, or a plane ride, whatever. Menendez wouldn't take a dime that wasn't his. And here's a guy that went through a lot of the corruption that happened in Union City. He's seen this. He's seen what happened up there. So he's seen careers and families torn apart from that. Do you think Bob was going to take something that wasn't his? No. Nah. So Bob is free. Maybe next year Bob is number one. But like I said, like I say in the record business, he's number three with a bullet. But Bob is coming. Number four, my buddy in Union at Jersey City, the young, the young buck, Steve Fulop. You know, they were talking about Steve. Well, he, he didn't run for governor, or maybe a congressional seat. I tell you, let him concentrate on Jersey City. I think he's running for a third term. I was just at a fundraiser. It was Fulop re-election uh, 2021. So I guess he's going to run for a third term. You know, Fulop can wait 20 years and still be the young guy. So he's got a lot of time on his hand. He's going to be involved in Hudson County for a long time. 
So I'll let him concentrate on Jersey City. He doesn't have to look at Trenton. I think Murphy's going to do, unless he goes tax crazy uh, and does a bad job like Florio or McGreevy or Corzine, I think Murphy's going to do well. But he's not going to be one and done. Number four. Was that number four? What do we got here? No, there's number five now, right? Tommy DeGeese, where is he? No, no, he just, no, O'Day, that's right, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Billy O'Day. Ah, confidant of Mayor Fulop. A guy that has been a freeholder, I think he's in there around 24 years. A person who knows the ins and outs of county government and is the legend in West Side, in the Marion section. He manages to swim through all the politics. Whether he's with the HCDO or he's outside the HCDO, O'Day understands politics and he understands constituents. There's a reason this guy has been around as long as he has been. And he drills down into his constituency base. He gives the services, which is one of the reasons you got one and one A, Sacco and Stack. If you want to talk about constituent services, these guys wrote the book. Let's see Tommy. There he is, Tommy DeGeese, the county exec, who is running for re-election. The guy has done a damn good job. I think he's been a county exec since around 2002, 2003, beat Bernie Houghton at that time. He has saved the county of Hudson a ton of money. And he gets blamed for the county taxes, but that's that formula. Tommy has gotten the county out of rented buildings and leased buildings into owned buildings. He is killing Jersey City by putting so many county buildings and in departments in Jersey City, and it ruins the rateables. But from a county standpoint, Tommy DeGeese is doing the right job. He is doing the job of county government and as efficiently as possible. The boss lady, Sandy Cunningham. You know, one of these days she's going to flap those wings and really uh, express her political opinion. She has turned out to be a political dynamo in Hudson County and Trenton. Very tight with Murphy. She was tight with Chris Christie. She's one of those people who know how to work both sides. Richie Turner, King Richard from Weehawken. You want to talk about another guy who knows how to swim between the currents. Richie Turner runs a great city, well-maintained. He's, he's right behind Sacco and Stack as far as keeping his municipality clean. We will be the mayor of Weehawken as long as he wants. Uh, we got Finney. Benny, there he is. No, oh, Anthony Benieri, excuse me. I'm thinking, I was jumping it. Anthony Benieri, right hand and Nick Sacco. This guy, he's been around a long time, but on a county level, he is up and coming. And last but not least, Assemblyman Benny Pietro. He's going over to the New Jersey Sports and Exposition Authority as the chairman there. I'm sure he would do a good job, did a good job as the uh, assemblyman and as speaker of the assembly down there. Uh, he stood up for the people of New Jersey, which is all you can ask your elected officials to do. We're out of time. You'll be good. You'll be safe. I'll talk to you Tuesday on the Jersey City Show. Good night.